Legitimately, when was the last time you've gotten Rickrolled? I am giving up, kind of. I just thought I'd give you a little YouTube retro intro. I've been doing YouTube since I was 12 years old. That's almost, oh shit, 17 years. <laughs> but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me bring you up to speed. Starting safety check. Engines cleared. Windshields clear. Cargo secured. You are all clear for takeoff. You're approaching target in five, four. Is that a bug? <laughs> Big small news, I was a category winner in Moments, yes, the Moment Film Festival. And I made a huge deal about it because this feels like the closest win I've had throughout this whole content creator journey. At the night of the results, I dressed up a little better than usual attire and laid out a red carpet. But some part of me feels like I shouldn't celebrate. My gap year is over and this has been my only win with commercial success. No, no, can't think like that. I really want to try celebrating any wins because I want to give up. Ariel, how are you today? Oh, I'm ready to give up any minute. If I don't place or get accepted to the things I've applied to enter to, I'm taking that as a sign that I should give this all up. Being in this fest has given me about three months of motivation. Ooh, should you be doing that? See, I've been rejected a lot and you'd think I'd be used to that, but no, as I get older, the pressure of getting commercial success is slowly fading my light of motivation. Ah! Oh. oh, sorry, I gotta go chat with other people. Uh, it was nice chatting. Thank you so much for stopping to talk to us. What advice do you have for people who are just starting their dreams? Don't. Uh, sure, I've had my ups and downs, to be honest, but creative drive is blocked because I'm always psyching myself out. Do you have anything more motivating to say? Save up money? And... Uh, I hope you're stronger than me. Hello, everyone. Please, take your seats. The screens will be... I have to get to my seat. It was nice chatting. Oops, sorry. Excuse me. Sorry. Ugh. Whew. That's one of the reasons why I stop uploading weekly. Like I said before, I haven't been doing this for just one year. I've been doing this for 17 years and I gave it like my all this time around. I think I put so much pressure on myself because I am getting older and it just feels like I should have, I guess, a not a clear path, but like, like something that leads to a path. When I get so in my head like that, I go out and interview or bake something that's not about me. And I made these documentary episodes about subway performers. Hey, shh. Most of the people that I interviewed were older than me and had been doing their art for a while. And I saw them find gigs both big and small, but still preferring to perform in the subway because they love to perform there. I saw they did it for themselves. Commercial success was not their end goal. You have to find where your line is in life and how you are gonna shine and be bright for everybody else, but not, not necessarily for everybody else, for yourself. It sent me on a journey of self-reflection. Am I self-sabotaging myself by pressuring commercial success as the be-all, end-all to be truly successful? That's what I've been always taught to strive for. And I know you need money to survive, but if I can just make enough to live by and save up, isn't that enough? Do I have to be the next star? So I literally just ran home. Um, it's the night of the premiere and I'm nervous and I got all the puppets laid out. Like I said before, I was one of the winners in the film festival. Wait, did I win? Wait, hold on. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> but I didn't feel happy in that moment. More relieved. I had something to show towards friends and family that I've accomplished at least something, even though I think I've done so much more. I don't want to feel like that anymore. 
I know I just said that I'm not striving to be the next superstar or huge commercial success, but I'm not making anything here. So what I'm doing is broken and I need to change that. So starting next year, I'll be trying other platforms like TikTok and Instagram, uploading weekly videos about one to two minutes and here bi-weekly about four to six minutes. And that's what I meant by giving up, kind of. It, it feels like I'm giving up. And that makes me really sad because most of my life has been trying to make YouTube my thing. I'm still nowhere near anything on any social media platforms. And if I'm being honest, I, I'm i not even sure what I want. So I'm hoping branching out can kind of give me an idea of a, of a path. I don't have anything inspiring to say. Uh, I'm just, I guess I'll end it that I'm, I'm very stubborn and I'm going to try to make this work as hard as I can. Just to be clear, I'm not giving up. Just because the gap year is over, I'm still continuing this artistic journey, even though I don't know what it is yet. I just want to thank you all who constantly show up here. Friends, family, mutuals, people who I don't know, but I, I know their username because I get so excited when they comment. All of you are a huge contributor and reason why I'm continuing this artistic journey. Again, even though I don't know what it's going to be yet. Thank you, and I am so grateful for all of you. I'll see you in the next video.